Hello again, and welcome back. Uh, this exercise, we're going to look at uh, solving this problem with the Poisson probability distribution. Uh, again, this is a probability distribution, a discrete probability distribution. Oops, wrong pen. Uh, it satisfies the same characteristics or has the same characteristics as other discrete distributions that we've we've worked with. Probabilities are all non-negative, and the sum of probabilities all equal one. And the unique unique uh, characteristic of this distribution is that its mean is equal to its variance. Uh, not anything of any consequence for us here, but uh, an interesting, well, perhaps interesting characteristic nonetheless. So here we're going to go through this exercise, and I'll show you uh, just how easy actually these types of problems can be. So this. This distribution is used for estimating the probability of something occurring uh, over the space of some interval, whether it's a time interval or distance or something like this. So in this exercise, we have uh, internet providers racing to gain some competitive advantage and switching over to fiber optic cable. Uh, conversion requires installations of thousands of miles of optical cables. Most of the time, installation goes without problems. However, the fiber optic cables are never perfectly flawless. In order to ensure optimum performance, da, 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 the installers must repair or replace any cables found to be defective. So, here finally we get to the relevant information. Assume that cables show an average of two defects per 10 miles of cable. So, our mean here is equal to two. <coughs> so, yes, our variance is equal to two as well. Doesn't really matter for us at this point. Uh, and that's two, mean of two per 10 miles. Why is that relevant? Well, <clears throat> often the mean, we don't have to worry about the size of the interval. However, one of the, the, the reasons why it's helpful to know is because we may have to scale it. All of these problems that we're faced with, well, they're not written in terms of a 10 mile interval, they're looking at a 20 mile interval. So if this is Two, uh, two defects per 10 miles on average, well then that means we have to scale this to two times, if there's two every 10, then there's four uh, per 20 miles. So we have to scale our mean up uh, to, to be a more um, relevant for the, the problem that we're dealing with. So there's some consistency here. So compute the probability of finding zero defects. So for this first one, uh, I'll show you what the long way would be of calculating this problem. So we would have to use this formula. So this is uh, mu to the x e to the negative mu over x factorial. And so in this case, f of zero Oops, our mu is our scaled mu, so this would be 4 to the 0 e to the negative 4 over 0 factorial. Now I'm going fast, I know, um, because we're not actually going to do it this way. Instead of crunching through all of the numbers on the calculator, it's good to get some practice using the uh, distribution tables. So here, what all the information that we need is that x equals 0 and mu equals Four, because with that information, here I can open up my Poisson distribution table, and I have all of the probability, well, a lot, most of uh, the relevant probabilities uh, that correspond to a wide range of variants of uh, of this distribution, of this probability distribution. Now, the only difference between what I'm writing and what you'll see here. Uh, slightly different notation. This table uses lambda, where I'm using mu, so that's our mean. And here, these are our x values. So what we need to do first is find the distribution, or the variant of the distribution that is relevant for our particular problem. Now in this case, there's only one uh, parameter that we need to concern ourselves with, and that's the mean. So I need to find where is our mean. Remember, we're working with a mean of four. So we scan down uh, all of these. I'm looking across these values here. And this goes to two. OK, I come down. OK, here is our mean of four. So now once I've found that part of this table that is relevant, 
the only thing I need to now concern myself with are the numbers that follow. Right? And this is continued, so I can probably scroll down somewhere further and find more information. Uh, but we don't need to worry about we don't need to worry about that. Now this collapses to zero at a x value of fourteen. For our problem, we are looking at an x of, uh, of zero. X is zero, mu is four. So here we found that distribution with a mean of four. Here's x is equal to zero. And so our probability, our relevant probability, is this one here, 0 0.0183. So I can come back, and here I have 0 0.0183. Next, compute the probability of finding one defect uh, over a 20 mile length of cable. So we go back to our distribution. Our distribution hasn't changed. We're still dealing with that distribution that has a mean of four, but now our x value is equal to one. So I'm still looking at just that one section circled in red. Now I look for an x of one, and I find that the relevant probability is 0 0.073. So I can come back to my problem and here I have a value of 0 0.073. A little bit faster than working with the formulas, I imagine. Part C, compute the probability of finding two or more uh, defects in the 20 miles of cable. This one will be a little bit different because what we would need to find for two or more, this implies figuring out the probability of two defects plus more, right? So f of four, five, six, and on and on and on. Now those probabilities are going to diminish to zero, but it might take a few uh, before we get there. So calculating two or more might be a challenge for us might be time consuming. So what we can do here is take advantage of these probabilities, or sorry, these uh, characteristics of the distribution. They all must sum to one. So if I look at, let's say if I add on f of one and f of zero, all of those up to whatever, they must sum to one. So if that's the case, and I want to know what is the probability of two or more, so I'm looking at this probability here, well, I can just rearrange this identity, this, this characteristic of the distribution, and solve for this. This summation must be equal to, if I bring this one to the other side, or bring these over to here, I have one minus, f of 0 plus f of 1. And that will be equal to the rest of those probabilities all added together. Now we've already solved for those. We've got those numbers already as our answers to part A and B. So I can just substitute those in. This will be 1 minus 0 0.0183 plus 0 0.0738 plus 0.0733, and let's get that calculator. 1 minus 0 0.0183 minus 0.0733, so 0 0.9084. So that would be this all of these probabilities added together. So the probability of two or more. So any of these added together. So there's about a 90% chance uh, that we will see two or more defects uh, per 20 miles of cable. Okay, so that's good. That was simple enough, I hope. If not, you can always rewind it and watch it again and again and again.
Next problem, compute the probability of exactly two. Okay, so we don't have that yet. I have two or more, but if I want exactly two, well then we can either do the calculations as we've uh, done in previous videos, or again, oops, I don't want that, or I can look up my Poisson distribution. I already have, there's our our probability or there's our, our, our distribution of relevance with a mean of four. I want to know what's the probability of two defects. So there's two and there's our probability 0 0.1465. Zero point fourteen sixty five is our is our answer. Okay, so these, uh, these problems using the distribution tables certainly go much faster. Uh, it's helpful if you get lots of practice with them because typically if you're writing exams, you don't have a lot of extra time to fumble around with those tables. So getting practice doing exercises like this uh, is usually uh, of great benefit and saves you from making uh, silly mistakes. So hopefully this was helpful. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, hopefully you'll watch a few more. Bye-bye.